winters are pretty much devoid of backpacking for me. So with the first sign of warmer weather in months, you better believe I was looking for new trails to explore. And the Uaris seemed like just the place. Good company, a toasty fire, not a bad start to the first trip of the year. I woke up with that pins and needles feeling in my legs. Note to self, this tent is not big enough for the four of us. Ow. Did he stomp you? Jordan is tripod now. Jordan is tripod now. Alright, guys. You ready? Okay, go. Good dogs. The new Jordan tripod. Come standard with auto motion tracking. There was certainly no shortage of creeks to navigate across, which gave us plenty of opportunity to refill, rest, and even practice rock hopping techniques. There, slow down. Slow down, bud.
mountain was meant to be the last obstacle of the day. But you can't always count on an unoccupied campsite being there. After another grueling mile and a half, we reached this rocky downhill maze. Cute flashback to that ridiculous climb down Albert Mountain last fall. Just below it, though, was the perfect streamside camp. Um, yeah, that area was flat Yet again, we lost the game of sleeping bag Tetris with the dogs. While having paws and tails thrown in your face all night is pretty annoying, there's no one else I'd rather be crammed in this tent with. No, get away from my coffee. A loo with a view, bud. Good, potty, Good bud. job. Way to go, potty. Way off the path. Where are you going, bud? Come on back. Here, come. Are you Bad listen. Come. Good boy. Oh no, nope, he's scratching. Stop number 22. The best raw light is here in the Uwaris. The first evidence of it. That's enough, thank you. A lesson we learned real quick the day before these mountains may not be tall, but they're still mountains. Best not underestimate.
One minute, you're walking through tall pines and rushing streams. Next, you're making your way up the summit. For an adventure with a little bit of everything, look no further than who you are. This is why you wear wool socks and barefoot shoes. Otherwise, you end up with nasty blisters like this. Or well, maybe you just don't go hiking. No, that's not an option.